Hi friends, it's so good to see you. My name is Lena and today we are doing a closet clean out series. I already did part one of this series in my shorts. It is a three part shorts and I did my pants last week and today we are doing my dresses. So I moved into this place a year ago and I just recently got my office like almost completely set up but now my clothes are just too packed we need to get rid of some stuff so this is why we're starting the closet series i'm staring at my closet right now looking at how full and crammed it is for next week let me know if you want to see skirts or tops that'd be really helpful but yeah thank you so much for watching and i really hope you enjoy so we're starting off with two dresses i actually got from a romley collab over the holidays and i am obsessed with these dresses this one's giving like fairy grunge moment and the next one is the cutest baby doll dress one thing about me is i love dresses that look like annabelle could have worn them so we're keeping these next up we have this super old kill star dress from like 2013 2014 but it still fits and she's obviously perfect so we're keeping her this next dress still has the tag on it it's from black milk and i actually really love it i think it would be perfect to wear during the holiday season the problem is i keep forgetting so i think we're gonna keep her and hope i remember to wear her this year we have another piece that's been in my closet for almost a decade miley cyrus wore this in her bangers era fun fact but she's serving pretty woman i love this dress and i need to wear it more so we're keeping this is a discount universe dress that i paid like 300 dollars for and only got to wear once it scared me for a minute because I thought it wasn't going to fit. She is a little tight, but she still fits, so we're going to keep her and make it work. I know some of y'all will think I look like a circus tent in this dress, but I don't care. I will give Dumbo energy all day, every day. This is a House and Harlow Revolve collab, and I just love it so much. We're keeping. We're moving down the rainbow to orange. Now, this dress actually devastated me. It's a Realization Par dress that I paid like $200 for only two years ago. I could squeeze into it, but it would just be really uncomfy, so we're going to sell or donate her, unfortunately. She will be very missed next we have this neon orange just like simple ribbed dress i don't see why i would get rid of it. it still fits me and it's cute this one i might put in my maybe pile it could be fun for summer but i don't see myself wearing it after the summer moving on to green a lot of you may know me from my neon green hair era and a lot of these dresses also came from that era if you followed me back then then you're a real one and you'll recognize a lot of these dresses but this one we're keeping this one's actually really comfy and casual and cute so keeping this one is an icon i had matching hair with this and i wore it to new york fashion week in 2018 and then this one just does not fit me anymore which is so sad because it's so cute but we're gonna donate i am so happy this dress still fits me it is my josie and the pussycats dress it is this velvet green cheetah print and i am just so obsessed with it it is my friend's brand that no longer exists zaya the label they're from australia and they made the best clothes i have a matching hat for this so speaking of zaya the label this is another zaya the label dress and it is fairy moss perfection i wore this to the lord of the rings premiere recently in new york and it was such a sleigh i love it it still fits we're keeping these next two dresses are from revolve this one still fits and would look so so cute with a little sock and loafer moment so we're gonna keep and this one is a house of harlow collab i'm actually really excited to wear this in the summer because it's just so cute and breezy but it has a huge snag in it but whatever we're gonna keep it and make it work this is another like decade old piece that i've had in my closet honestly i usually wear this for like slytherin videos because it's just like the perfect emerald green but i can't physically wear this dress out because it is too short and we'll show my hoo-ha so i think we're gonna keep just for filming purposes but not for actual wear this is a song of style and revolve collab dress I I know it kind of looks like a robe but i think it's so cute and chic and i haven't styled it yet so we're keeping this next dress is an iconic find from the 60s it was actually full length but my aunt is a seamstress so she tailored it short for me and it's probably one of my favorite vintage finds so we are definitely keeping this next dress is basically a relic it's one of valfrey's first clothing designs and i'm so lucky to have it i love it so much it still fits we are keeping i really am a sucker for lace and bows and ruffles on dresses so we're keeping and this next one i'm kind of iffy about this is not usually my color but i do need random colors for filming like character videos it still fits and it's just a simple dress so i feel like i'm gonna keep i don't know and i have the same feeling towards these next three dresses they're cute and i could style them easily but would i reach for them in my everyday wear probably not i could use them for filming though which is why i keep a fraction of my clothes that i wouldn't necessarily pick out for everyday wear but would definitely use for videos and would come in handy so i don't want to get rid of them i don't know let me know your thoughts on this situation and what you think i should do i am obsessed with blue gingham for summer i know it's very dorothy goes to oz but i love it this dress is from shop tunnel vision and i'm definitely keeping i can't wait to wear it with like red cowboy boots this is a song of style and revolve collab dress it is so cute i haven't worn it out yet but we're definitely keeping 
And this one I really thought I was gonna get rid of. It's a t-shirt dress from the Ragged Priest. I just have never worn it and I thought I never would, but when I put it on, I was like, this is actually so cute and comfy for summer. I'm 1000% going to wear this. So fingers crossed I actually do and we're keeping. This dress is from Motel Rocks and it was a little tight and short a few years ago. It still fits and it's so fun, but I don't know. Do I need it in my closet? That is the question of the century. This next dress is my Sally cosplay dress. I got it from Dolls Kill years ago. They no longer sell it from what I'm aware of, but it's so fun. I have no choice but to keep. These next few dresses are from my lavender hair era. If you know, you know, this is from the Ragged Priest. I would probably cut it a little shorter because I like my dresses mini, but other than that, it is perfect and we're keeping this dress too. Moving on to pink. And I know at first glance, this dress looks pretty plain, but don't be fooled. There are matching gloves. It is such a cute little Barbie moment. We're absolutely keeping. And we have yet another black milk dress with the tag still on it. This was a collab with Toki Doki. I still haven't worn it yet, but I have so many content ideas for it. It's this cute little strawberry milk pattern. And I haven't fully decided if we're keeping it yet, but for now we're keeping. And this is kind of random, but these next two dresses are fully giving 80s with these puffy sleeves. This is like a pretty in pink moment. And this next dress is like Debbie Jelinski in the Adams Family. So I am gonna keep both of them. I wanted a selkie poof dress so badly. And this is like a dupe version from Doll's Kale many, many years ago. I feel like a little cup cake in this dress. I still think it's so fun. We're gonna keep. You guessed it, another black milk dress with the tag still on it. I promise you I love black milk, but this silhouette just doesn't look good on me. It's a little too long. You know I like my dresses mini, so I think I'm gonna donate this one just because the fit isn't my favorite. We have another iconic vintage find. This is from the Vintage Twin in New York, and it is an 80s reworked dress. I was obsessed with this dress the moment I saw it. It would look so cute with a little sock and loafer, some combat boots, and a leather jacket. It is so perfect. I'm keeping it hopefully forever. Once again, speaking of the 80s, these shoulder pads are incredible. This is a revolve dress. It's still fits. I wore this dress to New York Fashion Week 2019, I believe, and I'm so happy it fits. I love it. We are going to keep. Another relic is on our hands. This is like one of the first UNIF dresses I bought in like 2012, 2013 from a sample sale. They used to have sample sales in downtown Los Angeles. It's like a velvet leopard print with these two side cutouts, and honestly, this is a forever piece in my closet. I love it so much. It is so iconic, and it still fits, so obviously we are keeping. This dress, however, I am not keeping. It no longer fits. I got it from Revolve like a year and a half ago and it is just too small. It's kind of giving Jersey Shore 2010 vibes, which honestly I love, but we have no choice. Donate. This next dress is like so millennial to me, but for some reason I love it. Maybe because I am a millennial. I feel like with some knee-high boots, it can still be a sleigh. So we're going to keep. It's really warm and cozy. Whatever. I don't have to justify this to you, anyone. So we're keeping. That's that. Simple, boring, but comfy and cute. We're keeping. These next two dresses are iconic Zaya the label pieces. I'm still so sad that they are not a brand anymore and it's been like three years, but they made the best pieces. Anyway, I wore this dress to New York Fashion Week in 2018. She still fits, she's staying. And this one reminds me of a jellyfish. I have never worn it before. It's a little short, but you know, I like my dresses short. So we are keeping, and she's definitely gonna get some wear this summer. She's plain, she's simple, she's boring, but she could be useful for filming. So we are keeping. Another fun fact, not only do I love wearing dresses that I think Annabelle would wear, but I also love wearing nightgowns as dresses. So these two are from Revolve. I forgot I had them, honestly, and I'm definitely going to be wearing them soon. I got this dress three years ago from Princess Polly and I've never worn it. Turns out it doesn't even fit me anymore. So we are going to donate. I got this dress from Revolve around the same time and it was actually a little big on me. So I never got to wear it, but now it fits me perfectly. So we're going to wear her a lot this summer. This dress would be the perfect summer dress if I could walk in it. I can literally only wear this for pictures. So we are donating. Next, we have two simple white slip dresses. This one I'm keeping, this one I am not. This one we are going to keep. This one will be no surprise to anyone, but we are keeping. It's an old Dolls Kill and Sugar Thrills dress. And this is the most perfect fairy dress for from Shop Tunnel Vision. It is a little see-through, but I don't mind, so we are keeping. I feel like I don't have a lot of mature dresses and this is kind of one of them. It's giving like 70s vibes and I really like it. It's from Revolve. I'm keeping. Here we have another piece I'm devastated about. This is the Vanessa Mooney romper. I believe I paid a hundred or more for it and it does not fit me, but it has a lot of good memories. I bought it for my first ever Doc Martens collab in like 2017. It's honestly such a good piece that I would repurchase it in my size now. Since sadly, we're gonna have to donate this one. I've had this in my closet for years. It's from the Australian brand Twin. It's kind of giving Crocodile Dundee and I thought it'd be really fun to wear in the summer, except I'm a little too tall for it. So it's giving me the ultimate wedgie. We're gonna have to donate. This is a very old fashioned Nova dress, which I once loved, but I feel like it fits me weird now. It kind of looks like old football undergear. I don't know. I just feel like it would look so much better on someone else. We are donating. I feel like this dress would look so cute on someone that isn't me. On me, it fully gives aprons, so we are donating. I love the princess sleeves on this dress. I got this dress in 2019 
present from Revolve when I went to Australia with them. It has good memories, it's cute, and it still fits, so we're keeping. This dress is so coquette, Lana Del Rey vinyl. We are keeping. I got it a few years ago from Princess Polly before that was even a thing, but I love it and we're keeping. And now we have this precious cottage core dress. If you know me, you know that I don't like to stick to one particular style. If I like it, I wear it, we're keeping. For example, I really like this dress and I know a lot of you are not going to agree with me. I know it's giving Ebenezer Scrooge nightgown. It's giving haunted at Crimson Peak. It's giving boss level Annabelle dress, but it's kind of a sleigh. Imagine with like a bunch of chunky belts and some big black heaven platforms. It would look cute, keeping. Now this dress, I have a feeling a lot of you are going to love. I'll link it down below because it is a super popular fancy club dupe and it is really affordable. It comes in a lot of colors and styles and I love it. These next three dresses are some of my favorite vintage finds. I know I say that about every vintage find, but this I found at a flea market for like $13. It reminds me of Miss Honey from Matilda. I love the pearl and gold button. And we've already established I love vintage nightgowns. This is a long version and it's a little see-through, but it'll be cute with like a peaky cheeky thong moment and some combat boots. I cannot wait to wear this over the summer. Again, found this at a flea market for like $7. And then this next one is this like lacy prairie shoulder pad, magnificent dress moment. I also got this again, for really cheap at a flea market and it is just so cute paired with a bunch of belts and big chunky platform boots. I love all three of these and I'm keeping them up. This is the same dress that I was questioning in turquoise but in silver. As you can see, I love it in silver. We're keeping. These next two are both from Revolve and they're both giving academia vibes. What's not to love about them? They'll be perfect for fall. I'm keeping them both. I have a feeling you're really gonna love this next section. It's like my black and white stripes and all my black dresses which in my opinion are the most fun. I like this zebra sweater dress from Motel Rocks is fun but I will not be keeping it's giving new jersey auntie vibes which i do like i've worn it like that once but once was enough donate now this dress was such a moment i'm so glad it still fits because i'm definitely keeping it is from ohm weekend or oh mighty i don't know what they're called now or if they're even still a brand but it says a tim burton film and as we all know i love tim burton so i would love to keep this dress but i got it taken in to fit me better in 2017 so i know there's no way it is going to fit me now we are donating if you watched closet cleanup part one on my shorts then you'll know that i have this dress from the ragged priest in a pant and skirt version and i just prefer the skirt version so i'm getting rid of the pants and this dress every emo are all person will know this is just a dream dress this is from hot topic i love it we're keeping and this is what i call my edward scissorhands dress it is impossible to get on but i did it just for you even though it was 11 o'clock at night at this point but i love this dress i'm keeping i think i may have put this dress on wrong because again it was 11 o'clock at night and i had been filming for like 10 hours at this point i normally love this dress but I really can't tell because I think it's on wrong. So I have no idea, but it's from Revolve. I'm not a huge polka dot person, so I really don't know how I ended up with two of these polka dot dresses in different styles. The long one I'm kind of feeling iffy about, so let me know your thoughts. I just can't tell if it's the vibe. And then the short one is super cute and I don't see why I wouldn't keep it. I've held on to this dress for over a year because I want it to fit me so badly and it just doesn't. It's from the Hot Topic and the My Melody and Kuromi collab. It just doesn't look good on me. I'm sure it'll look better on someone else, so we're donating. This will forever be one of my favorite dresses that I own. It's from Black Milk. I just love pvc vinyl material and it is so cute and flattering i love it we're keeping and this next dress is actually a new addition to my little pvc collection it's from killstar and it has more of this oil slick look i'm not really a bodycon girl but i thought this cutout was really interesting so yeah we love it this is another dress i've held on to because i want to love it so bad it's from the black milk and corpse bride collection it has mr bone jangles and his band all over it but i just really don't like the cut of this dress on me so as iconic as it is i'm gonna let it go and i think it'll look better on someone else this next batch of dresses is from my witchy dress collection. A lot of these pieces are really old and no longer sold from what I'm aware of. I am keeping all of these, but I do get a lot of questions about where these are from. So we're gonna rapid fire the brands. This is an old collab between Dolls Kill and The Craft. This one's kind of hard to see, but it's from Killstar. It has this massive collar and a lot of ruffles. This baby doll moment is everything. It is from Dolls Kill and their Widow collection. Same with this lace baby doll dress. This lacy dress with the bell sleeves is from Killstar. The glittery spiderweb one is from Nasty Gal during Halloween. And now it's time to show you my little Wednesday Adams dress collection. This is an oldie from D Andre. And then the next three are all from Killstar. They don't sell these exact dresses anymore, but they are a good alt brand. So if you're into this kind of style and you've seen any Killstar dress that you like from this haul, definitely check them out because they sell similar styles to these literally all year long. I actually have no idea where this dress is from. I took it from my aunt's closet and I'm obsessed with it. It gives me dark princess vibes. We're keeping. This one's also kind of hard to see, but it's like one of those 90s smock dresses, but goth. It's from the brand Foxblood, who you should also check out if you're more into goth alternative style. These next two dresses are so chic, I really need a reason to wear them out, but I'm gonna keep them both. 
Now we're diving into my long dresses. This one is from Black Milk and it's their Corpse Bride collab and it was a total slay. I love it. You can see the little spider webs everywhere in this velvet burnout print. And this next dress is from Revolve and if you have eyes then you know I'm obviously keeping it. It is perfect. It has these cute little lace panel cutouts giving total Morticia vibes. This next dress is also from Foxblood and it's actually called the Morticia dress. I think I've said enough. Okay, don't laugh at me. I have this dress because me and my friends were filming a TikTok and we needed prom dresses and I happened to thrift this one in five minutes at my local savers for seven dollars. It's Jessica McClintock and it's giving total like Avril Lavigne 2000s energy. I'm really not sure where I'll ever wear this to again, but I love it and I'm keeping. This dress I honestly don't even really love because the fit is kind of meh, but I use it in a lot of videos. I've had this dress since like 2012, so we're just gonna keep it. This dress is such a pain to get on, but it is so gorgeous. I haven't worn it out yet. It's from Revolve. Definitely keeping for when I need a long special fancy dress. I've had this for years and I literally had no idea that the zippers actually opened. It's so fun and it's from the Ragged Priest. Cute, simple, plain, but we're keeping. This dress is a little big on me to like wear out as an actual dress. I would probably wear it more as like a coat, but I'm in love with the shoulder pads, so we're keeping. Again, simple, cute, kind of boring, but really easy to style and make it fun. I bought this dress when I got invited to the Matrix premiere because it's totally giving Trinity. I love it so much and it still does fit. These buttons are just a pain to get on. I met Keanu Reeves in this dress, so enough said. I'm keeping. This is an iconic Sandy Liang and Vans collab dress. I love it. We're keeping. This is just a regular Vans dress, but it is so cute and comfy, so we're keeping. I would have loved to keep this dress, but unfortunately it does not fit me anymore, so we are donating. And thankfully I have another dress that looks almost exactly like the one I'm donating. So this one is from Foxblood, and so is this one. I told you I love my lacy, silky slip dresses, so this next one is from Tunnel Vision. We need a short and a long version, obviously. And I really love this dress. I'm so excited for summer to wear it. It's just so fun. It's from Local Heroes. It has this really cute little lavender hibiscus flower print on it. I wish this dress wasn't a box. Con, but I just love the pearl strap detailing on it. It's from Motel Rocks. It's really, really old, but I like it. I think I'm keeping. This is also from Motel Rocks. I actually always want to wear this dress out, but for many years it was too big on me and now it fits me perfectly. So that is a win. Final two dresses. This is like a boohoo posh spice looking dress that no longer fits me. So it's going in the donate pile. And then this one I recently purchased off Depop for $20. It's vintage BB and it's giving like goth fairy vibes. The strap is broken but I can easily fix that and it is such a cute little dream dress. I love it. And this is actually my first time trying it on so I'm just really happy it fits. That is it for today's video. I really hope you had fun watching. Let me know if there's any item that you think I should really keep or really donate down in the comments. I am so curious to know what you guys think of my closet. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time.